Police swarmed a high school in Coles County this morning after a student shot another student. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. Both students go to Mattoon High School. The victim is in stable condition tonight and the suspect is in custody. We continue our team coverage. We start with Caitlin Connolly. Caitlin, you've been out in Mattoon all day. You were at a press conference tonight. What happened at that press conference? Well, Jessica, I do have some good news. The police were able to talk about the victim of the shooting, and they say, as you said, he is stable, and he's actually in good condition. He was smiling and joking and in good spirits. Now, the father told the police that he is asking people to pray for the shooter's family. Now, the police also talked about the hero of the day. Police say a teacher tackled the shooter. A student in the cafeteria was at the time told us that the shooter's finger was still on the trigger when it happened, and it started firing at the ceiling. Now we went to the teacher Angela McQueen's house and signs were already in her front yard thanking her and calling her a hero. At the press conference tonight, police seemed to agree. Scenarios, you, you, just, you just don't know what's going to happen until it happens and with a quick response to the teacher, if, it, if that teacher had not responded as quickly as they had, I think the situation would have been a lot different. School resource officer was, was in nearby proximity. He also helps to do the, the individual, but I got to tell you, it was the school employee who took this on and I'm, I just can't tell you how impressed I am with the school. <sighs> Police did say that they are not going to give out the name of the shooter. He is a juvenile, and the investigation is still ongoing, but they did say that they are confident that they have the only shooter in custody. I know that there was a lot of rumors going around, but police say they are confident that they have the only shooter. Live in Mattoon, Caitlin Connolly, WCIA3, your local news leader. All right, Caitlin, thank you for that update. Now, like Caitlin said, a teacher took down the shooter, stopping the situation from getting worse. This is how students saw it. She seen the gun come out, and she was going to tackle him, and which she did, and he still had his finger on the trigger, and it was flying up, and it was hitting the ceiling. Scary moments in that cafeteria. Those shots were fired around 11.30 this morning and almost immediately after students were evacuated, they were bussed over to Riddle Elementary School. It's just a few minutes drive from the high school. Kids were quickly reunited with their families there and we spoke with one grandmother about what it was like hearing about the shooting knowing that her grandkids were at the school. Helpless, absolutely helpless. Um, I was with some friends who, they had grandchildren at the high school too, and we didn't know where they were. Some of them that had left the building, they didn't know where they were. They were, had just been told to run and get out. Now, the school kept their website updated throughout the day, giving messages to both parents and students. And that brings us to what happens tomorrow. School will be in session, but there will be a few changes. WCIA 3's Aaron Eads also live for us in Mattoon tonight. So, Aaron, what can students expect tomorrow? Well, Jessica, as you mentioned, the first thing is that there will be school tomorrow. However, it will be a very different day for students that go here. Students will have a short and bell schedule tomorrow. They'll get out at 12.30 p.m. and lunch will not be served. In addition to that, there will also be an increased police presence for the next few days across Mattoon schools. And if any high school students are not comfortable going to school at all tomorrow, they will be given excused absences. Now, we'll have more on this coming up tonight at 10. Hear from a student who is in the cafeteria when the gunman opened fire. Live in Mattoon, Aaron Eads, WCIA3, your local news leader. All right, Aaron, thank you for that. Now, again, this is still a developing story. Like Aaron said, we'll have much more tonight at 10 over on WCIA. And continue to follow us on our social media channels. You can find us on our WCIA3 Facebook page or our Twitter handle at WCIA3. You can also read and watch on our website, IllinoisHomePage.net.